So this is a new video concept that we're kind of playing with. Every Thursday, we're gonna be answering some tech support questions that you guys are posing to the channel. Our community is getting a lot bigger, so we're getting a lot more questions kind of thrown at us, and that is cool. That's exactly what we wanted. So we're gonna take every Thursday now and release a video just kind of answering some tech questions that you guys have proposed. And this week's tech question, I figured it's poetic justice to go back to my biggest video on the channel, which is the Apple Watch not pairing troubleshooting video that I made about eight months ago. A lot of people have watched that video. A lot of people have had some success with that video, but I get a lot of questions from that video from people who are, have older iPhones and purchased newer Apple Watches, but are just running into difficulties pairing those Apple Watches to their iPhones. They're wondering why it's not working, why their Apple Watch isn't pairing, but let's get started with the five reasons your Apple Watch is probably not pairing to your iPhone. And I think right off the bat, the most obvious one is a compatibility issue. There's a lot of times where people have an older iPhone, they purchase a new Apple Watch, they try to boot everything up and they try to pair it, and they keep getting an error message saying that their iPhone needs to be updated in order for the Apple Watch to pair properly. Every time you see this, this is definitely a sign of a compatibility issue. Right off the bat, first thing you need to know is that the Apple Watch Series 3 and up will need an iPhone 6S and up in order for it to pair properly. So if you're rocking anything less than a 6S iPhone, an Apple Watch Series 3 and up just won't work. Now the caveat to this is if you have an Apple Watch Series 2 that's on a higher watch OS level that requires iOS 13, that watch Series 2 won't work with your older iPhones as well. And it's all because of the firmware. The newest Apple Watch OS needs iOS 13 in order to pair and work properly. If your phone cannot be updated to the latest iOS 13 or doesn't have iOS 13 currently running on it, that Apple Watch is not gonna to pair to your phone and you're not going to be able to communicate with each other. Every time you see your iPhone app asking you to update in order for it to properly pair your Apple Watch, that's an indication that your watch and your iPhone are not at a compatible firmware level and one of them needs to be updated and if you can't go to iOS 13, you're kind of stuck. There's a couple things you can do. You can reach out to Apple to see if there's anything they can help do either downgrade the firmware of the watch itself or try to get you onto iOS 13, but if you're not rocking, the iPhone 6S and up, you're probably going to be out of luck. So make sure you do your homework before you purchase an Apple Watch Series 3 and up to make sure that your phone is compatible with that particular Apple Watch. The next thing is going to be your connections. Connections can be a little wonky and that is a technical term. You could look it up. Wonky is pretty technical. So if the Apple Watch and the iPhone need to establish a proper connection in order for them to pair properly. So Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are definitely something that it uses to establish that connection. If any of those connections are not acting properly, then you can have a connection issue between your Apple Watch and your iPhone. There's a couple things you can actually do to try to troubleshoot any kind of connection issues you may be having. One of the first things to do is make sure those connections are on. Before you pair your Apple Watch to your iPhone, make sure you turn on your Wi-Fi, make sure you turn on your Bluetooth, because those are two of the most prominent connection platforms that the watch uses to speak to your iPhone and get everything connected and up and running. If those two are already on and you're still having a problem, then try resetting those particular connections to see if that helps. Sometimes connections, they're left on for a really long time and they can have some issues that happen with them. They can get stale, they can get stagnant by resetting them. It can help fix a lot of the issues. I know it sounds like a very simple thing to do, but believe it or not, nine out of 10 times, it really does work. And it's as simple as turning on your airplane mode. What airplane mode does to your phone is it basically just shuts off all the connections. Once you turn off airplane mode, your connections come back on, they reconnect fresh and brand new, and you can try to do another reconnection. Another awesome trick that you can do with the iPhone if you're running into any kind of connection issues. I know we're talking about the Apple Watch in this video, but if you have other connection issues that are happening, this trick can actually help go into your settings, into your general settings, and reset your network settings. Those network settings are all the network settings and connections that you have on your iPhone, you're gonna reset those settings and that's gonna clear out any kind of information, any stale information, any cached information in your iPhone and that can help fix a lot of connection issues. I had an issue connecting an Apple Watch recently and I cleared out the network connection issues, rebooted the phone and tried to connect it again and it went through with no problems. So this is kind of like your little secret weapon. If you're sure your phone is compatible with the Apple Watch, it's up to date and you're still having connection issues, check your connections clear your network settings and see if that works. 
Another really simple thing to check, believe it or not, is power. A certain level of power is required for these things to pair to each other because there's a lot going on in this pairing process. There's a lot of information being transferred between the Apple Watch and the iPhone, and it doesn't want one of those things to die in the middle of that transfer because it can corrupt the data and information and lead to a whole other slew of problems. So you want to check the power on both devices. If your iPhone is like less than 50%, it might not pair properly. If the Apple Watch right out of the box, if it's brand new it's probably going to not be a hundred percent charged so if that thing is like less than 50 percent as well it probably won't connect or work properly also one of the tricks to this is just connecting both to a charger you can just plug your iphone in it doesn't necessarily need to be charged over 50 percent it just needs to detect that there's an external power to it in order for it to move to the next step same thing with the apple watch just leave it connected to its power cradle and then try to initiate the connection process again sometimes it's just as simple as the apple watch it doesn't have enough power to get to that next level of connection or your iPhone itself is dead as well. Check your battery, check your power, check the connections, connect them up to a power source and try it again. So the other thing is it could be your location. It could be where you are. Signals are a tricky thing. They're things that can be interfering in the signal of the Apple Watch and the iPhone. Try changing rooms. Try moving to a different location. Try going outside and pairing it. Try going into a different room and pairing it. Try moving around and pairing it. But location can actually play a role in your Apple Watch and iPhone just not pairing properly. Believe it or not, I've seen it myself. I've troubleshooted these things enough to know that I've moved outside and for some weird reason it worked outside. Technology, right? But try moving your location. Maybe you're too close to a router. Maybe you're too close to something that's interfering in the RF signals that's going between the Apple Watch and the iPhone in order for those two to establish a proper connection. Readjust your location and try to connect again and see if that works. Now this reason is one that my users and customers never want to hear and it's probably one of the most common reasons your Apple Watch and your iPhone just aren't connecting to each other is because there's something broken that you or I just can't fix. It either is an antenna issue, there's something actually physically wrong with your iPhone or there's something actually physically wrong with your Apple Watch that's causing the issue. The easiest way to check this is to do a test case. Now if you have another Apple Watch or if you have another iPhone, you can try connecting connecting it to that device. If that goes through correctly and properly and then you try to connect it again to your device and you know there's something either wrong with your device. If you try to connect it to that other device and it's still not connecting then you know there's something probably wrong with the Apple Watch itself. If everything else is as it's supposed to be you're updated, you're in a proper area with enough signal, you have enough power to your devices and it's still just not working. You've done a reset, you've done a reboot and you still just can't get it to connect. The next possible thing is that those actual devices have something wrong with them that's preventing them from connecting. I know it's a pain in the ass. You just bought this new watch. Your iPhone has been working perfectly for God knows how long and now you're trying to connect it and this issue is happening. I know it's very very hard to accept that it just may be an issue that you can't resolve or you can't solve itself. I always say that you can troubleshoot to a certain extent, but then there comes a point that you actually have to reach out for assistance. So if you get to a point where you've done everything possible to try to get these two devices to connect, the next best thing would be to reach out to Apple and have them take a look because it may be something that you can't fix on your own that's causing the connection issues not to work. And I'll throw in a little bonus here because again, I've been doing tech support for so long. I've seen so many different things that are unexplained when it comes to technology. Just remember that technology is technology. So if it doesn't connect the first time, try it again and try it again and try it again and try it again. I've heard stories of people just trying it like five times and for some inexplicable reason, something happens and it works on the fifth try for no reason other than it's just working on the fifth try. Keep trying it a couple of times. I know it's supposed to work the first time you try, but really what does work? on the first try nothing in this life really works on the first try that much anyway and the same thing goes with technology keep trying it try it a couple of times try it a couple of different ways try it in a couple of different areas try your best to get it connected do everything make sure everything is as it's supposed to be and again if you're just not able to establish that connection after you've made sure everything is copacetic your next best bet is to reach out to apple all right guys so i hope this answers your question on why your apple watch may not be connecting to your iphone properly again 
we answer tech support questions every Thursday. So make sure you share your support questions below in the comment section of this video. You can also email me your support questions or you can tweet me your support questions. All my social media information and my email information is going to be in the about page of this channel. So make sure to reach out. I'll make a video about a support question you ask. You never know. You could be one of those people I pick to make a video about your support question and I try to answer them as best as I can. Thanks so much again for checking out the channel and the video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and while you're down there, hit that bell for notification so you don't miss when we release some cool, helpful content and go ahead and shoot us a thumbs up. You know, like the video it definitely helps out the channel. Until then guys, you can check out this video here. I'm going to throw up the video of the full troubleshooting walkthrough for your Apple Watch and not connecting to your iPhone. If you're still having issues, go ahead and check that video you out this is something youtube believes you'd enjoy watching now until next time stay safe and as always peace out